Welcome to Prep Your Data. We're a startup company aimed at helping you clean up messy data yourself. Obviously, we would prefer you to use our tools, but we also want you to be successful and efficient using Excel itself. This week, we are looking at the problem of creating a type or category column based on values in an existing column. This video shows several different techniques for solving this problem using Excel. We also have a video showing how the same problem can be addressed using Prep Your Data software. Here I have a spreadsheet of the cities in the USA, each of which has a state. I need to create another column which assigns these into sales regions. For reference, I have this map of our sales regions. As you can see, there are six of them. Northeast, Southeast, North and South Central, and North and Southwest, and they divide along the state lines. Of course, this is just an example of a much broader class of problems. You could be assigning people to job types, customers to industries, etc. Today I'm going to show you three different techniques you can use in Excel. The first is brute force typing. So I'm going to create region as a column. And I'm going to say, well, that's New York, so I know that's Northeast. California, Southwest. Illinois, North Central. And so on. And you can see where this is going. This is the approach we see most people using, but there are several problems with this approach. The amount of work I have to do is proportional to the number of rows and not the number of different states. In this case, I have a few hundred rows, but I could have thousands. There's no guarantee that I've assigned the same state to the same region for every row it appears on. I'd have to check that after I'm finished. And typing errors could creep in. I might accidentally create northeast as well as northeast. So let's try another approach. My second approach is using if statements. So I'm going to try and create something that says, if this is New York, then the region should be Northeast. Well, that worked. And it's automatically filled in all the rest of the column with equivalent statements for each row. Well, what about the next one, California? Well, I can't just change my if statement. I have to deal with the else clause. If B2 equals New York, then North, Northeast, I'm going to want to put in something after that comma for California, something like this. If B2 is New York, then Northeast, else if B2 is California, then Southwest. That fixed the California row, and in fact, it's fixed all of the California rows. So I can carry on. Let's deal with Illinois. Again, I'm going to edit the top row. Paste in my formula. And that dealt with Illinois. Now you can see where this is going. Also, one trick, if I want to see what I've got still left to do, uh, I can take the region and I can filter on, just show me the zeros. And that shows me all of the states that I have yet to do. So I figure I need to do Texas. I would unfilter, come back to the first row, and fill in an if statement about Texas here. This solves a couple of the problems. I now only have to deal with each state once, and it always assigns the same state to the same region. But it has one huge drawback. When I get to 30 plus states, that if statement is going to be huge. And if I make a mistake in balancing the brackets or the quotes somewhere, it's going to be very tough to find and fix. Finally, let's look at what's probably the best solution in Excel, which is using VLOOKUP. So in this case, I'm going to create a new sheet. And I'm going to create a table uh, for states and regions. I need to name that area so that I can refer to it. So I'm going to call it the state region table. Now, the formula I want looks like this. VLOOKUP, do a lookup on our table. Using the value B2, look in the first column of the state region table and return the value 
that matches it from column two. False is something about uh, approximate matching. We want false for exact matching. Now that's initially going to give me nothing because I didn't populate my table. But if I go over and I put in New York is Northeast, it's filled that in. If I put in California is Southwest, it's filled in this row and in fact all the rows of California. So now all I need to do is fill in this table with each of the 50 states once and it will automatically fill in all the values here and again I could filter on in this case NA to get an idea of which ones I haven't handled yet. Maybe copy those, put them here and carry on. VLOOKUP is definitely quicker and less error prone than the other in the brute force approach or using if statements and it solved most of my problems. I only have to deal with each state once. I'm guaranteed that the same state is assigned to the same region consistently. I can use that filter trick to be sure when I'm done. And also, if I come up, if I have any spelling errors, I can find them and fix them fairly easily here. But it's still a lot of clicking around. I'm thinking more about the technique than I am about which state goes where. Using a VLOOKUP table is definitely quicker and less error prone than the brute force approach or using if statements. But we think you can still do it faster using the Prep Your Data product. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our other videos showing useful Excel techniques and our product in action.